Hey, what's up, guys? In recent times, one of the things that uh, uh, that has been on my mind to talk about um, is fear. One of the things that has been bothering me for quite some time, and it would be surprising to see um, how fear can cripple many of us, can cripple our lives, can stop us from really achieving our goals, stop us from really reaching somewhere in life because we fear, we fear, we fear, we fear failure. We fear what people will think. We fear what people will say. We fear what people might do. We fear how people will react um, to us, to our choices, to our decisions. Um, but, you know, fear is such a, an obstacle for many persons. Many of us, we have so much potential. We have so much, so many abilities and we can achieve so much more and we could have achieved so much more in life but we have been taken over by fear and what it does is that it, it, it destroys our lives completely because it makes us so stagnant it makes us you know we we, 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 be, we get to a place where we begin to blame ourselves we begin to blame others and yes we grumble and we say oh I could have achieved so much more I could have done so much more but I'm just so afraid I'm just so afraid to fail I'm just so afraid to disappoint um, my friends my family my loved ones you know and, and it cripples you but what I have been learning is that you have to get to that place in your life where you tell yourself that you really and truly can achieve more and you really need to do more for yourself and sometimes I, I have this little saying these days that um, you have to be selfish somewhat because there comes that point in time when you have to think about yourself You have to think about What is it that I have achieved and you begin to measure you begin to ask yourself some serious questions What is it that I have achieved within the last five ten years? And what is it that I really want to achieve in the next five ten years? And am I going to sit down and let fear hold me back? Am I going to sit down and let because I want to please everybody around me and I want to have a good name um, then I just lose out on life altogether or am I going to get up and tell myself shake myself from that that the, the, that situation or those circumstances that are really keeping me um, down that are really keeping me back holding me back from really achieving my goals my true potentials in life and just shake yourself and, and, and you know get up and tell yourself I'm not gonna be afraid anymore I am not going to you know be a coward I'm not going to be ashamed of who I am and that's one of the things is when you are fearful it, it also works on your self-esteem it, 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 it's, it's like it eats at your self-esteem like a cancer and it, it, you know it tried to keep you in a little corner and keep you it sucks you dry if you get what I am saying and it keeps you down then you realize that the years are passing, the months, the days, the weeks passing and you haven't achieved much, you haven't achieved anything at all or what you have achieved, you know within yourself that you could have achieved much more. So my encouragement, you know, just, you know, been thinking about it and telling myself, wow, I maybe need to say this, you know, to somebody that you know, don't live in fear anymore. You know, you have to get to that place where you tell yourself that you deserve more than this. You deserve more than what you are going through right now. Personally, I've been through so much. And I, I, when I speak, most times I speak from experience that fear in itself really tried to keep me down, tried to hold me back. Because, you know, thinking about it, I've helped so many persons and in the end, end ended up not helping myself because I was so fearful. You know, but gradually I'm getting to that place where I realize that I can't live in fear. I have to take that step, that step of faith. You know, many of us, we might consider our lives to be so perfect. We have everything that we need. We have our nine to five. We have, we have, we might have a house. Some of us have a car. Some of us have, you know, money in the bank. And, you know, but really and truly there is this, this fear deep down of achieving much more. And we have to get to that place where we challenge ourselves that the, the the sky is the limit you know we can achieve more but because we are so fearful it has really kept us back and as a human species i don't believe that we were designed to 
live in fear. We are, we are resilient, we are aggressive when it comes on to achieving things. And I think get to that place where you start telling yourself that you can achieve more and take that first step. And um, the reality is that we're not alone. There are many persons like us that think, boy, you know, what are my, what are my friends going to think? What are my family going to think? You have to do the, 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 the weird things in life. You have to do things that nobody else want to do. But you know within yourself that you have a goal and there's something that you want to achieve and there's more out there in life. And I've been telling myself that in these last couple of months that there is much more to life and reading, doing a lot of reading, doing a lot of writing, I, I have come to realize that wow there is just so much more to life to enjoy life than just living this life of routine because that's what fear does it brings you to live a life of routine it brings you it takes control of your life and dictates to you and tell you that this is the way you have to live and the reality is that that's not the way you have to live right so put some thought into this and question yourself am i living a life of freedom and happiness or am I living a life of fear and doubt?